Hi, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's do this weekend update here. We'll talk mountain weather and ski conditions. I'll jump into this analysis with radar and satellite. And what I want you to notice with this is this will be dominated, the pattern, over the next probably three to five days by this flow, this rich flow into the Pacific Northwest. It will push probably one, two, maybe three different waves of rich moisture into the Pacific Northwest. And then what we'll see is one low break loose and then move down into the interior parts of the West, including Wyoming, Idaho, Utah, and Colorado on Tuesday and Wednesday into those areas. Powerful jet stream. Look at that thing. Uh, really strong winds aloft carrying all that moisture into the Pacific Northwest. But here's what I want you to notice. Look at the dip in the jet there on the back side. That's the low that will break loose. Look at the clock. By Tuesday and Wednesday, we're talking about a significant dip here across the interior, and that is what will support that area of low pressure. All right, so here's our future radar and satellite, and I've got, a, I've got numerous pause points here so you can see how this develops. Look at that rich flow of moisture into the Pacific, and it's just blowing moisture down into Jackson and the Tetons and Sun Valley, Schweitzer, Bridger Bowl, Discovery, all those areas will see a nice push of moisture with this. And uh, as we put this uh, into motion more here Sunday night, you can still see the same thing happening through the Tetons and then back towards Sun Valley. Even on Monday morning, that flow just continues to hammer those areas. By the time we get to Monday afternoon, it starts to relent as the axis shifts and that low coming in from the Pacific Northwest begins to take shape. This is on Tuesday morning. Look at Tuesday afternoon. Here's your low sliding in, and it's bringing all that snow into the interior, and then eventually sliding through Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado. This is Wednesday morning. It's going to be a powder day there across the interior, and by Wednesday night, the storm is sliding away. All right, how much snow are we talking about? Well, by uh, Sunday morning, you can see most of the accumulation is up in the Pacific Northwest and then into the interior, Schweitzer North into Banff. Now, by the time we get into Monday morning, the effect of that rich flow over the top hammering the Tetons will continue to pile up snow in Jackson Hole and Grand Targhee, Yellowstone, all the way into Monday morning. Then there's going to be a bit of a break as the axis begins to shift and that low comes in. This is uh, totaled by Tuesday morning. Here's, here's Tuesday into Wednesday. That low just sweeps across the interior and look at the amount of snow we could be talking about across the Tetons and also the Wasatch and then into the central and northern mountains of Colorado as well. Now I will say that the Jackson Hole total could be a little bit conservative. Uh, we could be closer to 20 inches by the time we get into Wednesday morning and Wednesday afternoon if this rich flow continues. All right, enjoy it and have a great weekend. Always appreciate you tuning in here and I'll talk with you later.